People say it's incredible. The hardships we've overcome. I just don't know how to respond to that. One thing is for sure. We are, all of us, accountable to each other as women. Sometimes I go back to that room. I wonder if I'd be who I am today if they didn't mutilate my genitals. What could my mother have achieved if she wasn't married at 13 and had me at 14 years of age? How can someone so close to you violate you in the worst ways again and again? The women in my village still suffer. If we didn't even have the right to vote, where would we be? It is not easy when no one around you understands, when even you don't understand. Many people still don't understand that for young girls, menstrual rights are human rights. But I could make a small difference for those women. With the right to vote, we pushed for change. I feel lucky to have joined a women's rights organization in college. I could at least be of use to my sisters and mothers. I wonder if I had the courage in me, or if it was the counselor who gave me the courage to speak out. It doesn't matter. When I broke my silence, it felt like liberation. I reached out to YWCS Center. That was a turning point. I received psychological care. I could finally name this thing that made me hate myself. Postpartum depression. At the darkest point in my young life, a hand reached out to help. I became a social worker. My life's mission is to reach as many young girls and women as possible and tell them about sexual and menstrual hygiene. It could have ended for me in that room, under the blades, but it did not. I was not going to live as a victim, as a survivor. I wanted to be treated as a human being. For that, each of us has to recognize our common humanity. Power structures prevent young women and girls from knowing and claiming their human rights and achieving their full potential. Every day, we rediscover our humanity. We strive for a more equal world. We fight for our rights as women, as human beings. And in this, we are all together. When women rise to leadership, they transform power structures and policies around human rights, gender equality, peace and justice.